So, yes, lots more writing again. That's the way the writer thing works. So, that's filmmaking for you though. Sometimes you just sit down and you write a lot. It's not the funnest part, but it's still exciting seeing it come together. I'm still, I'm telling this story. This is where the details of the story come out. So it, yes, it's still somewhat exciting. Maybe not for you, because it's not visually anything going on. But, this is what I want to tell you, okay? So, you may have heard somebody tell you before that you're the only one that is truly gonna care about your vision. That nobody else cares about you like you do. I don't think that's true at all, okay? You've just gotta find the right team. You've gotta find the right people that can get psyched about it, who believe in the project, and more importantly, believe in you. And, more, more importantly, vice versa. Like, how did we truly get Immuna done well for being such a ragtag gorilla team doing it last minute on the run with really no plan how did how did we pull that together so well not to toot my own horn it was because caleb me and brian we all got together really well and we and we also trusted each other we had different skills that we were able to bring to the table and that's really my point with that as well is that if you come in with the mindset that you're the only one that cares about this vision, you're gonna try to micromanage and do everything yourself. And guess what? When you let go of certain things, sometimes, actually most times, it makes it even better. Of course, letting it go to the right person. But they're able to bring a new idea and they're able to focus on some specific aspect and just worry about that. Therefore, every idea they come up with is about that. Kind of when I was talking about delegating, I mentioned the best thing you can do is be in that position where you're basically just taking in all the ideas and you get to pick and choose. Say yes, yes, no. You know? What you think is going to happen when you give up control of a certain aspect to somebody is that they think they're basically going to do half-hearted work. Here's the thing. If you find the right person that you get along with who is an expert at what they do, it's much more likely that what's going to happen is that person's going to take your vision and make it their own vision. They're going to take just as much ownership and pride in seeing that fulfilled. They're not going to cut the corners. They're going to do it wholeheartedly. Build that culture around you with the people that you choose and with the way you treat them. Build that culture. Hold yourself to a higher standard and show that as an example. Anybody who is helping you will feel obligated to do their best work, to live up to your standard. And that's how something really comes together well, is with a team effort and a culture who shares that vision and who is all who are all invested in doing it right. So if you don't have those people around you, if you haven't built that community, start making those changes because they will support you and keep you going. And you, being the example, will keep them going. Anyway, I think I've said that five different ways from every different angle. So, with that, think about it. Thanks for watching.